Okay, so we're here playing Fallout 76. If you want to know why we're playing Fallout 76, uh, it's because I don't feel like playing Star Wars Battlefront or Call of Duty 3 or really any other game right now. And we're going to be doing events today, obviously. So right now we're going to be doing the Breach and Clear event. So yeah. Oh, if you're new to the channel, um, you get a video every day. Oh, I missed New video every day except for weekends. Hey. New video every day except for weekends, and then I do um, World War Three, Fallout. Oh, now I'm doing Fallout, but. I do Call of Duty 3, Battlefield Dead Company 2 sometimes, um, Verdun, I used to do Verdun, but I don't really do it anymore, and I do Let's Plays, and I do, I do sometimes cover, uh, news on the Atari VCS, Atari's new console. Telling me to game, are you glitched out and I can't complete this? Area clearance detected. Oh, there we go. Initiating breach procedure. All workers, please evacuate to a safe distance immediately. All right. Let's do whatever the event tells me to do. And yep. So yeah, uh, like I said, I didn't really feel like recording Call of Duty 3 or... There it is. This, this event gives tons of, um... Tons of ore. Basically, you just have to go around this thing and, and collect as much Warning. ore. Additional agitators closing on breach site. Workers, activate rise defense procedure. How am I gonna get that one? Oh, maybe. Nah, no way. Dang it. Oh, mole miners. I like these mole miners. Like, I like when um, Fallout introduces new intelligent races. Like, you know, I was kind of tired of like super mutants and ghouls being like the only intelligent races in Fallout. I mean, I guess you, there was the aliens, but eh. I like there being like tons and tons of mutants. Yeah, like, this is a really good event to do if you want ore. Like, look at all that ore and scrap and stuff, like... Especially if you have the horn right, um, thing that lets you unlock the yellow ones. That's a quest you do, so... It's actually a fairly decent quest. If you're wondering why I'm doing events, it's because I only have one quest left. Like, I've literally done most quests and most side quests. 
I've actually completed this. I found the last one, but it still says I need to find, I like, think, like one or two more. you blocking my stuff? Oh, I missed. There we go. A bit of phlegm this morning because I slept too long. Blah. You got anything? Ten of them around. I am overcumbered. Hmm. What? Mine key? That friend here. Alright, I cannot get some of my perks to activate. I think some of them are, like, broken. Like, this Pharma Pharma never happens. It never activates. I was using Mystery Meat for a while, but, um, I found that I don't really use Stimpaks. I'm always using Healing Salves, and I never run out of food. So, like, I think... The, um, mystery meat's actually really good at the early game. Like, like this is actually really good at early game. However, once you get later on, it's kind of pointless. And Cap Collector, I, I maxed this out at the beginning thinking it was, um, any, anywhere you go you're gonna find caps, but I didn't read that it's, um, it's only when you find more, it's only, when you find a cap stash you get more caps. So I thought that was kind of... Pointless, and now I gotta open the miner's locker key. Over, how far? That's not that far. We can walk. Though I am overcumbered, so I'm gonna get out the power armor. And on this power armor frame, I have the excavator power armor, which is actually a really cool suit of power armor. Like the lore behind is actually pretty neat. How it was um partially designed by like. Apparently somebody who designed T-45. Well, that's the lore. I don't know if the same designer from Bethesda designed it or not, you know. Sorry, my ear was itchy, so I had to take off my headset. I don't know. A lot of people are bored of this game. Me? I can continue to do events forever. These are just daily quests, like, from World of Warcraft. I think that's the problem, is that, like, most people these days, they cannot play an MMO. Like, and this is basically set up sort of like an MMO in a way. It's trying to not be an MMO, but you can tell, like, a lot of things are MMOs. There's daily quests, there's level requirements on weapons, there is, um... You know, certain builds. There, there's going to be dungeons, like the vaults that are going to open are going to be dungeons that are re you're going to have to repeat. Like, it, it's trying to be an MMO and trying to be a Fallout game, but not it's not trying to be a Fallout MMO, if that makes sense. Like, there was originally going to be a Fallout MMO. Like, it was, um, 
gonna be by Interplay. Interplay was making one, and then Bethesda has a lot of legal situations there. And so I wonder if, because apparently a lot of, I don't know how much was done of that Fallout MMO, but I wonder how much of that um, Bethesda actually looked at while making this game. Because I like this game. Like, it has bit, it has a bunch of glitches. I almost combined bunch and glitches into, um, <laughs> I don't want to swear. It's a family-friendly channel, but you get what I mean. Be witches. Minor gauntlet. Oh, wait, hold on. I can open this. Uh, it's in here. Let's take, let's take off a rifleman. There we go. I like how you can do that. So, a lot of people don't realize that. Like, you don't have to keep like lockpick and stuff on all the time. Really? How precise does it have to be? No. No. It's one of the super precise ones. Get out of here. Oh no, I started a quest, huh? How about that? Guess I haven't done all of them. in the miner's locker. Here's lockers. More dogs, god dang it. There we go. Put the Brotherhood data in the... Or put data in Brotherhood cake. Oh, there's a wanted. He's only worth 10, so he's kind of worthless to go after. Oh, there's another wanted. He's only worth 10 as well. And he's level 4. Where does it want me to put this? Oh, over here. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I'm gonna go back to my base. Put a bunch of, um, stuff in there. I don't know if I really want to reveal the location of my base, but it doesn't really matter. on a lake. I used to have it. I have had to move my base several times now because of people being in the same spot. Yep, it's in the middle of this lake. Not in the middle, but... I have tons of food! Moot fruit. I got tons of razor grain. And tons of blackberries planted. And lots of water. A big stupid lion statue. Yeah. Scrap, scrap all, scrap this, and then we shall go into here. Get all that ore we found. Ore. I know it doesn't scrap it, like, but I like having the ore in here. And not, like, I don't know, on me. Because ore takes up weight. 
Oh, lead ore. That's really good. Didn't realize how much I got of that. Silver ore. Uranium ore. Seems to be all the ore. And there's a... There's a Scorch Beast. Yeah, so the only problem with, um... My... My base... Is that... Um... Up here somewhere... There's a... Yeah. And that's when you quit out the server. See, because if you just don't want to deal with a Scorch Beast, you just quit the server. Like, it's not like I can't kill them. Like, I've, I have weapons that I can kill them with. But I just... They're so annoying. And, you know, then we just go back in. And now the Scorch Beast won't be there. Because I hate that. I hate, really don't like Scorch Beast. I mean, they're cool. I like all the new enemies introduced in this. I just... Like, there's gotta be an easy way to take down Scorch Beasts. Like, I know there's legendary weapons you can get. There's... I know, like, if you have a two-shot dragon, you can take them down extremely easily. But, like, my problem with the Scorch Beasts mainly is that they never land. They're not like dragons, right? Where you can force a dragon to land with, a uh, you know, Dragon Rend. Scorch Beasts just stay up in the air forever, and, it, and it's so annoying. Like that, and we'll eat a carrot. Drop dirty water. I don't know why I'd ever want that. I know you can boil it, but I... Hey, look at that guy. Oh, uh, we could go kill him. But he's only worth 10. If he was worth, like, f uh, 50 or 100, maybe. Other than that, no. Because I could walk, but look, it's like three cats go get him. Is there an Enclave event? No, you're not an Enclave event. That's what I want to do. Enclave event. There it is. That's so much caps. Like, do I have Travel Agent on? Yes, I do. Is it working? Because apparently some of the perks work and some of them don't and I don't know which ones do and don't and like different ones work and don't work for different people Now if that guy breaks my stuff like if he comes up here starts shooting at my stuff, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go kill him. I'm gonna go get my Merv <laughs> And I'm just you know That's how I treat PvP in this game like I if I see someone worth a good amount of caps, I just go get the fat man and nuke the crap out of them. Fat man, and usually I finish them off. Because sometimes if they're in power armor, if they're in T-51B or above power armor, they can survive a fat man. But not a fat man critical. I don't know about Merv. I've only killed people with a regular fat man, but I do have a Merv now. And a Merv is... It does a lot less damage, but there's a lot more Mervs. Yep. Members, we found an area we'd like to have a closer look at. We're transmitting coordinates to the local bot stop. Proceed there and protect our patrollers, would you? That is all. Yeah, so the Enclave has a real cool leader in this. It's called Modus. He's like a... Kind of like Eden yeah, from Fallout 3. Like he's a robot. He's like a giant supercomputer. I like, I like the Modus guy in this game. Some people were complaining that it's lore-breaking. I'm like, how? How is Modus lore-breaking? Ah, 
look, I'll admit some stuff doesn't make sense in here. Like, um, there's, you can find cryolators out in the wild. Doesn't make any sense. Since that's like a rare weapon from Fallout 4. Um, next people are complaining about FEV. But, um, apparently, like, there is a story behind FEV being here. And I kind of like it. Um, it's basically, there's a West Tech facility that got, like, a different strain of FEV, and then they, like, watered it down by, like, putting it into, like, a water supply and stuff. Of a town. Ah. Oh. Dang it! Gauze rifle's good. You can get a gauze rifle. It's really good. Um, ammo's real easy to make. Like, I highly recommend getting a gauze rifle. Especially if you can get a legendary one. Mine's not legendary. Mine's just a gauze rifle. I mean, but I have it modded a lot. So, if you do these events with more than, you know, with multiple people, um, they become a lot better. Like, you get tons and tons of enemies coming. I remember me and my friend did this Enclave event before, and like, all down there was just like, tons of super mutants. I like doing the Enclave ones because they give, like, pretty good loot, usually. I don't want to shoot because I don't want to hit the assault runs. Get some good stuff. Hopefully. Out of way to Oh, only I want the like the Enclave has like special armor in this game that I've been trying to get. If you'll and... excuse us, we have some errands to, 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 to attend to. I do have better power armor than this, but this one gives lots of, um... It gives lots of, uh, carry weight. Mind us. Just out for a little stroll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this game has problems. I do think this game does have problems. Obviously it does. I mean, it's got tons and tons of bugs. They've been trying to fix them. I think it's been... They've had, like, four patches now. All just bug fixes. And, you know, that's good that they're not going to abandon it. Like, if this was EA, EA would have abandoned this game. Like, think about Mass Effect Andromeda. Completely abandoned. Like, EA does not mind abandoning games. Obviously, Medal of Honor Warfighter is another example. Um, they didn't abandon Hardline. 
I don't know. The hard line it was selling pretty okay. Like it sold okay, not like terrible. Apparently Battlefield 5 is selling terrible. Alright, we can scrap. Actually, I want to see what I can put on the minigun. Because I do have heavy, all the heavy weapons perks. Oh, accelerating barrel. Alright. Raises the... Oh, that fire rate goes up a lot. Hey, look at that. That's... 30... 31 more fire rate. Wherever the range goes down, but I don't really care about the range, and the weight goes way up. I can get the gunner sight. Shredder. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna scrap it and see what I get. So I think if I can get this, the accelerator barrel, the minigun might become more worth it, because right now it's kind of worthless. Ah, oh, nothing? Okay, they need to fix it. Every time you scrap a weapon, you should get something. I just not getting something is just the. And now to scrap these armor. I don't use armor. Why? Because armor weighs too much. Armor weighs too much, and I'm already out of 180 instead of out of 190. Because I didn't go for a strength build. Because I have way too many fusion cores on me. Bone worms. There we go. Alright, so we do another event. I guess we should go turn in that quest. Well, I was right by there, and I didn't turn it in because I'm an idiot. At level 10. Wow, he's only level 10. I could, like, one shot him. Jesus. Why he's over there, I don't know. Like, you're... S that guy should still be here. And then... Oh, here's how I went. I went here, 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 here. I know some people just go here for a while, but... Oh, and then... No, everybody goes up here as their second. Like... Especially during the beta. Like, everybody was going up here. Because I think everybody went to the airport and then went up here. I, however, went down here. A lot of low levels. I've noticed that. Oh, well. Oh, look. It's almost been 30 minutes. Jesus. I didn't notice that. Uh, this game. I, I think I'm gonna make a video. Um, like what this game needs, how to fix this game, or how to make Fallout 76 better. Uh, I have a couple ideas. Uh, I'm not a game designer, obviously, but you know. Yeah. I don't know what to do for like the next minute. I'm just hoping that Scorch Beast doesn't spawn. Ow. Yeah. Exploded. Yeah, that means we, uh, I'm just gonna go over here. I just hate dealing with them, like, because they don't land. If they land, like, if there was, like, a dragon rend that you could use on them, because they're basically equivalent to Skyrim's dragons. If you could get them to land, things would be so much better and easier on them. I know people have certain legendaries and stuff that, like, lets them kill them, like, in two shots, but not everybody has that. And, yeah, I know there's people duplicating stuff, and you can, you can technically 
go buy like weapons on eBay. I've seen it. Like because of the duplication glitches that people are doing. And I, and why would you ever buy that? Why? I don't know. Alright, well, bye. Oh, all weapons videos uh should be Friday. I'm gonna try and get it up.